Hey guys, so Sweetness wanted to take this light fixture down. She doesn't like the chrome and replace it with one that she already had from the last house. So that's what we're going to do here. Here I'm just getting the, the table and chairs out of the way so I can uh, get to work. Make sure the light switch is off. Make sure it's turned off and nobody's going to turn it on on you. Setting up the ladder, getting the tools ready. So the first thing is to get this old fixture down. I'm gonna remove the screws on the cover. On this light fixture, these screws are what's holding the light fixture up to the ceiling electrical box, as you can see here. Here I am trying to get the wires out without damaging them or scraping them on the metal bracket. That way I can disconnect the wires and lower the old light fixture down safely. I almost got them out. There's the wire nuts. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them to make it quicker below the wire nuts. And then I'll unwire it later. That's the quick way to take it down. Now I'm preparing the new fixture to hang it. I'm gonna take all the sconces off. That's what I'm showing you here. There's a lock ring in there, unthread it, take the sconce off, put the lock ring back on so I don't lose it. I'm gonna do this with all three and that'll lighten up the load on the new fixture for when I'm hanging it. It's about ready to go, so I'm gonna hang it up by this threaded piece here into the bracket that came with the light. Unfortunately, I did not get this on video and here's the explanation. So unfortunately, the camera angle neglected to catch me wiring up and mounting this light. That is on me. So I am gonna take this apart and explain what I did. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. If you took one down, you know how to hook it back up. Okay, unfortunately I didn't get all of this, but this bracket came with this light. So it screws up into the box, then you can see right here, this threads into this bracket, which is secured to the ceiling box, which is secured to a joist. And this holds the weight of this light. To do the wires, you just black to black, white to white, and then make sure your ground is grounded here and tied to the ground to the light. So the bracket goes up to the ceiling box. Make sure the ceiling box is mounted to the studs and is made to hold the light. It should be. And then this threads into the bracket which holds the weight of the light to cover it up you can see the threads you can see the threads right here the cover slides up over the threads like that it just has to be finger tight because it's only to hold the cover up to make it look nice. That's how you hook the light up. Sorry I didn't catch the complete install, but it really is just put the bracket up that comes with your light, put the light up the way it's supposed to be, and then hook the two wires and the one ground. So black to black, white to white. And then the ground wire goes under the green ground screw and then put your cover back up Go test the light switch. As always, if you're not comfortable working with electricity, get a professional to do this for you. Just about done. Gonna put the uh, sconces on after I clean them. Might as well wipe them down before you put them up. Slide it up over the threaded post that holds the light bulb. Get your lock ring, tighten it down on the inside. Do that to all three of them. And we're gonna grab the light bulbs. 
wipe them down too and install them in the light fixture. There you have it. Let's go test it out. On. Off. On. Clean up. The only thing left to do using my Dyson handheld with a DeWalt battery. And there's the finished product. If you've made it this far and you got something out of this video, can you do me a favor and hit the like and share down below? Thank you.